Hello and welcome to the workshop. Thank you for stopping by. We appreciate you very, very much. If you are new to the channel or you have not already done so, feel free to subscribe. We upload a lot of sneaker videos. Buckets define a lot. Almost every single day. Almost every single day. Honestly, kinda, sorta. It doesn't matter if it's almost every single day. It's almost every single day. It's almost every single day. We're manifesting that, all right? Manifesting it. Uh, if you dig sneakers, you have come to the right place. You can also find me on Twitter and Instagram, at Mr. Fomer Simpson. And if you enjoyed today's video, please hit that thumbs up button. Really does go a long way. Small gesture, but a powerful one. And we appreciate you for that. The last thing I want to mention is uncivilizedstore.com. Buckets, who is behind the camera, and myself, we have a clothing brand and that is where we sell it. So all relevant links will be in the description of this video for your convenience. And with that said, buckets, anything to add, anything to kind of like, you know, get the people going, get me going, any, something provocative? No, on all charges. Three, two, one, bang, bang. This is the Air Jordan 5 Jade Horizon. are now set to release April 9th and retail is 190 bucks. Gotta say shouts to Kicks Are For Us. They are a local sneaker resale shop down here in the Tampa area. We were able to grab these from them and so we definitely appreciate it. You know, this is another Jordan Retro that's had the release date pushed back and back and back some more. I believe they were originally supposed to release in November or December of 21. Then I heard March and now it looks like April 9th. Either way, I really dig them. So we are excited to give you this early look on a sneaker that I dig. Buckets, are you into these? I'll talk about it later. Saving it for the end. I can never, I try to lure you in, never works. Yeah, it's like a movie. You got to wait to the end. All right, I understand. The Jordan 5 is a classic. I mean, that pretty much goes without saying. I'm not going to say it's the best or my favorite Jordan retro ever, but I do like them a lot. And this colorway, it's subtle, but very smooth. I guess you could say it's on trend right now. Buckets with the vintage aged kind of look. That's something that we've seen a bunch over the past couple years. This worn, what am I going to call it? I'm going to call it an antique look. Okay. The antique treatment. Most of the sneaker is covered in this jade leather, as you can see. Pretty nice to the touch also. It does have kind of a premium vibe to it. No complaints as far as the quality. Classic Jordan 5 netting on the sides. And the whole shoe looks pretty aged, but you can really see it along the eyelets here. Super yellowed to give them that feel. Same thing on the lace lock, which is a really nice touch. And something that's kind of cool, I don't know if it's intentional or not, but there are different materials and different degrees of yellowing or aging. And I think that just gives it kind of a nice feel. You've got 3M on the tongue with the Jumpman embroidered in the middle. You can see that outline as well. Jade laces, another jump man on the back. You've got the upside down Air Jordan on the back of the tongue. Sweat pant type material on the interior, Cozy Boy certified. 
You've got this dark midsole with the fighter jet teeth and the speckling on the side here. A little bit of that yellow is also peeking up from the bottom. And then you can see the outsole is totally yellowed. I mean, it looks like a sneaker that you bought a long time ago. I know some people hate that aesthetic. It kind of goes against, look, it's what's the word I'm looking for. It kind of goes against, I don't know what the little shoulder shrug was just about, but it kind of goes against like sneaker laws in a way, right? You know, you think about it, it wasn't that long ago where people were trying to use different products to dye the yellow soles back icy, make them icy again. There's all the anti-crease products and, you know, you just want your sneaker to look pristine forever. And this kind of goes against that. Literally, it looks worn from the day you take it out of the box. Before you even wear them, they look kind of worn. But I don't know, I dig it. Maybe it's because I trash all my sneakers these days anyway. Maybe it's because I wear them and wear them and wear them. If you tune in regularly, if you've seen some of our life test videos, then you know that, you know we wear our sneakers hard, I'll say. And I will walk hard. Bingo, there you go. It does also seem, this is just a little side note or a side point, if you will. It does seem like certain silhouettes look better with this kind of treatment. I think because the Jordan 5 is such a classic sneaker, it really does look nice when it's given this aged kind of uh, the feng shui, the vintage feng shui. I just think it ends up looking really dope. It's classy. Buckets. Do you agree? With that? Yeah. Um, typically, I think the Jordan 5 doesn't actually age well at all. I think they crease terribly. So no, I disagree. No, that's... You love to get super literal. No, no, no. I mean, yeah, what I'm a saying... Question, I answered the question. No, I'm not saying that it's... Like, you're talking about creasing and stuff. I'm talking about, like, where it looks yellowed and... I mean, we've seen it a bunch. I mean, you look at the off-white Jordan 5. Those had that same kind of aged look. You like that sneaker? No, I don't like that sneaker. Really? I don't like the white pair at all. Black pair? Yeah, I like those. Damn. So I I think today we've uncovered something. What's that? And that is that it is your mission in life to just disagree with what I say. No, I don't think so. All right. I think that we just... Scale of one to 10. You put me on the spot? I'm giving these an eight out of 10. I know some people may not agree. It doesn't seem like there's a ton of hype out there on these right now. I think it's a dope sneaker. I like the colorway, and I dig the uh, the overall vibe. Eight out of ten for me. Let's, let's give me all you got. Yeah. Um, Don't turn around and give them like a seven now. Not no, no, six and a half. Wow. Yeah, I didn't say I dislike them. Phone call incoming. Sorry. Got to bang it on them. Okay, there we go. There we go. Yeah, uh, six and a half. I mean, I wasn't like. Hey, I'm working here. Hey, I'm working here. I wasn't speaking poorly of them. I was just saying that I don't think that the five ages that well. Ah, uh, you did a weird thing. I didn't like it. Leave a comment below. Let us know how do you feel about this colorway. How do you feel about the Jordan Five? How do you think the Jordan Five ages? Does it age well or not? Leave a comment. Let us know. Always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. You are very, very appreciated. We will be back tomorrow, manana. Same time, same place right here at the workshop with a brand new sneaker for your head top. I got nothing else. Buckets. I don't even know if we will. What do you got for us, buddy? I had nothing else. A little antidote? Uh, I'm trying to think of the Heat song, but I can't remember it. The Heat song? Yeah. With heat. De Niro and Pacino? Yeah, but Pacino is singing it to the guy that he also says, give me all uh, you got. That's right. That's right. All right. Well, was your one opportunity? Uh, I'll touch up you on it. it. I'll touch up on it. I'll get back to you tomorrow. Adios. <laughs>